Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 166, Image Columns. One of my pet peeves with Power Pages is the lack of support for some of the newer Dataverse column types. For years, one of my more popular blog posts was a workaround to enable choices, aka multi-select option sets, on a portal. But I always felt that there should be parity across the Power Platform, if a column type was supported in Dataverse, it should be in Power Pages. A while back we did get the choices support, and now we are another step closer to parity with image column type support. The image column type was introduced into Dataverse in 2019, but support in Power Pages wasn't included at that time. This meant that, from the perspective of Power Pages, columns of this type didn't exist including on Forms, in Liquid, and via the Web API. With these new capabilities in preview, all of those can now use image columns. In Liquid, image columns are represented as a complex object with properties that include the type, size, URL, and the base64 value of the image itself. The Web API allows you to retrieve and update the image column. Don't forget about table permissions! Also, be sure to check the Microsoft documentation. As while this feature is in preview, there are some settings you need to enable for certain areas to work. In our next tip, I'm going to look at how this new image functionality also means support for user profile pictures. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 166 on image columns useful.